due to myelination or formation of myelin sheath, uh, myelin sheath is formed by neuroglial cells. Some cells wrap around the axons, laying down the cell membrane, and that forms the myelin sheath, and it appears white. That gives the whitish appearance, and that's why it's called white matter. And unmyelinated fibers, dendrites, then cell bodies, they give a grayish appearance and called gray matter. Arrangement of white matter and gray matter, uh, like Look here, this is a model on spinal cord section. Can you see outer white matter, inner gray matter? In case of brain, it will be outer gray matter, inner white matter. Okay? Now scattered, yes? Did you say false the grayish appearance? Grayish appearance? Yeah will be given by the cell bodies of neurons, unmyelinated nerve fibers, neuroglial cells, etc. They will give a grayish appearance, and that's why it's called gray matter. Sometimes, you know, in literature, white matter and gray matter are also written, like giving a compliment. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, oh boy, you have some gray matter. That's good. But if, if you are told you have some white matter, that's not good, that's sarcastic, okay? But that is the reason, you know, why it's called white matter and gray matter. Because these are, as you will see, that different parts, like this is called lateral column of white matter. Here, this is, co this is called the dorsal column of white matter, ventral column of white matter, like that dorsal gray horn, lateral gray horn, ventral gray horn for the gray matter. So these names are given, okay? But the reason is that due to myelination, it appears white. Because the axons are myelinated, and what is, what is the myelination? It's nothing but cell membrane. What is cell membrane? It's lipid, what kind of lipid? Phospholipid, okay? Okay, so you learned about tectum, superior collicula, inferior collicula. These are nothing but, you know, this represents aggregates of cell bodies here. So, superior collicula and inferior collicula, they are the nuclei. Now, same structures in the peripheral nervous system is called a ganglion, like here, you can see the solar part here. This is called the dorsal root ganglion. It contains the cell bodies of sensory neurons. Okay? So, in the peripheral nervous system, so like, you have peripheral nervous system and central nervous system. What is called nerve here in the peripheral nervous system? What is called? It's called tract. What is ganglion here is nucleus. This is different from nucleus of cell or nucleus of atom. Okay? Next diagram, page 488. 